following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, fifth chapter, text number 11, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 12th of September, 1973, in London, England. Oh, man. 
Bringing about a revolution in the impious lives of the world misdirected civilization. Such transcendental literatures, even though imperfectly composed, are heard, sung, and accepted by purified men who are thoroughly honest. Purport. It is a qualification of great thinkers to pick up the best, even from the worst. It is said that the intelligent man should pick up nectar, even from a stock of poison, should accept gold, even from a filthy place, should accept a good and qualified wife, even from, a, from an obscure family, and should accept a good lesson, even from a man or from a teacher who comes from the untouchables. These are some of the ethical instructions for everyone, in every place, without exception. But a saint is far above the level of an ordinary man, and he is always absorbed in glorifying the Supreme Lord, because by broadcasting the holy name and fame of the Supreme Lord, the polluted atmosphere of the world will change. And as a result of propagating the transcendental literatures, like Srimad Bhagavatam, people will become sane in their transactions. While preparing this commentation on this particular stanza of Srimad Bhagavatam, we have a crisis before us. Our neighboring friend China has attacked the border of India with a militaristic spirit. We have practically no business in the political field, yet we see that previously there were both China and India, and they both lived peacefully for centuries without ill feeling. The reason is that they lived in those days in an atmosphere of God consciousness, and every country all over the surface of the world was God-fearing, pure-hearted, and simple. And there was no question of political diplomacy. There is no cause of quarrel between the two countries of China and India over land which is not very suitable for habitation. And certainly, there is no cause for fighting on this issue. But due to the age of quarrel, Kali, which we have discussed, there is always a chance of quarrel on a slight provocation. This is due not to the issue in question, but to the polluted atmosphere of this age. Systematically, there is propaganda by a section of people to stop the glorification of the name and fame of the Supreme Lord. Therefore, there is great need for disseminating the message of Srimad Bhagavatam all over the world. It is the duty of every responsible Indian to broadcast the transcendental message of Srimad Bhagavatam throughout the world to do all the supermost good as well as to bring about the desired peace in the world. Because India has failed in her duty by neglecting this responsible work, there is so much quarrel and trouble all over the world. We are confident that if the transcendental message of Srimad Bhagavatam is received only by the leading men of the world, certainly there will be a change of heart, and naturally the people in general will follow them. The mass of people in general are tools in the hands of modern politicians and leaders of the people. If there is a change of heart of the leaders only, certainly there will be a radical change in the atmosphere of the world. We know that our honest attempt to present this great literature, conveying the transcendental messages for reviving the God consciousness of the people in general, and re-spiritualizing the world atmosphere, is fraught with many difficulties. Our presenting this matter, this matter in adequate language, especially a foreign language, will certainly fail, and there will be so many literary discrepancies, despite our honest attempts to present it in the proper way. But we are sure that with all our faults in this connection, the seriousness of the subject matter will be taken into consideration, and the leaders of society will still accept this due to it being an honest attempt to glorify the Almighty God. When there is fire in a house, the inmates of the house go out to get help from the neighbors, who may be foreigners, and yet without knowing the language, the victims of the fire express themselves, and the neighbors understand the need, even though not expressed in the same language. The same spirit of cooperation is needed to broadcast this transcendental message of the Srimad Bhagavatam throughout the polluted atmosphere of the world. After all, it is a technical science of spiritual values, and thus we are concerned with the techniques and not with the languages. If the techniques of this great literature are understood by the people of the world, there will be success.
when there are too many materialistic activities by the people in general all over the world, there is no wonder that a person or a nation attacks another person or nation on slight provocation. That is the rule of this age of Kali, or quarrel. The atmosphere is already polluted with corruption of all description, and everyone knows it well. There are so many unwanted literatures full of materialistic ideas of sense gratification. The people in general want to read, and that is a natural instinct. But because their minds are polluted, they want such literatures. Under these circumstances, transcendental literature like Srimad Bhagavatam will not only diminish the activities of the corrupt mind of the people in general, but also it will supply food for their hankering after reading some interesting literature. In the beginning, they may not like it, because one suffering from jaundice is reluctant to take sugar candy. But we should know that sugar candy is the only remedy for the jaundice. Similarly, let there be systematic propaganda for popularizing reading of the Bhagavad Gita and the Srimad Bhagavatam, which will act like sugar candy for the jaundice-like condition of sense gratification. When men have a taste for this literature, the other literatures, which are catering poison to society, will then automatically cease. We are sure, therefore, that everyone in the human society will welcome Srimad Bhagavatam, even though it is now presented with so many faults, for it is recommended by Srinara, who has very kindly appeared in this chapter. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a description of the age of Kali. Age of, this is age of Kali. According to Vedic understanding, there are four ages. Shatta Yuga, Dapar Yuga, Trita Yuga, and Kali Yuga. This age is called Kali Yuga. It has begun about 5,000 years ago after the battle of Kurukshetra. The duration of this Kali Yuga is estimated 400,000, 427,000 of years. Out of that we have passed only 5,000 years. So the symptom of the human being in this age is that prāyana alpāyusha. People will become a very short duration of life. It is said that time at the end of Kali Yuga, the if somebody lives for twenty to thirty years, he will be considered as very old man. So gradually the food grains like rice, wheat, milk and sugar will disappear. In this way, in the college of Prayana Alpaya Yusha, Kalovasmin Jana, in this age people will be of short duration of life, manda, very slow, sumanda matayo, accepting some rubbish theology, manda, sumanda matayo, manda bhagya, almost all of them are unfortunate. Manda bhagya, upadruta, over and above that they will be disturbed, especially by lack of rain, lack of scarcity of food grains, and overtaxed by the government. So much so that people will give up their hut and home and go to the forest and hills in disappointment and confusion. So these are the symptoms of Kali gradually degrading so, this is also recommended prayana in the Srimad Bhagavad in another chapter, twelfth canto. It is said, Kalo dosu nidhi rajan. 
These instructions were given by Shukdev Goswami to Maharaj Purikhit. So he addressed the king, my dear king, in this age the falls are like the ocean. Kalo dosu nidhi rāja. Dosu nidhi. Nidhi means ocean. There are so many falls in this age that it can be accepted as the ocean of falls. Kalo dosu nidhi rāja. Asti jhika mahār guna. There is one great opportunity. Although it is full of faulty things, still there is one hope. That hope is Kitana Deva Krishna Samukta Sangha Parangraje. If one simply chants the holy name of Krishna, Hare Krishna, then gradually he becomes purified from the contamination of this age. Kritana Deva Krishna Samukta Sangha. He becomes free from the contamination of this age. It is just like vaccine. In contagious disease there is vaccine, cholera. So this mantra, maha-mantra, this is not ordinary sound. This is spiritual. By chanting this mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, one becomes free from the contamination of this age. Not only he becomes free from the contamination of this age, but Parangraja, he goes back to the spiritual world. We have no information in this age at the present time what is that spiritual world. But they are all stated in the Bhagavad-gītā. Parastasmātu bhāvanya bhaktya bhaktya sanātana. Everything is there in the Bhagavad-gītā. Bhagavad-gītā is the preliminary study of spiritual life, ABCD of spiritual life. The people cannot understand even the ABCD of Bhagavad-gītā. And Śrīmad-bhāgavatam is the graduate study. So everything is there. Unfortunately, it was not distributed. So our Krishna consciousness movement has started to distribute this literature, especially Srimad Bhagavatam. We have already translated about twenty books. They are present before you. And our aim is to present to the human society sixty books. The still translation is going on. So our request to the publishers and booksellers that let this literature be distributed properly, people will be benefited. Because after all, each and every human being is a spiritual being. He is not this body. That is the mistake of the present civilization. Jashyatma buddhi kunapi tridhātita. Atma buddhi, self, people, everyone thinks that this body, I am this body. If I ask any gentleman what you are, he will say, I am Mr. such and such. Uh, I am born in this country. Uh, I am American. I am Englishman. I am Indian. These are all bodily descriptions. But basically I am not this body. This is called illusion. You have got practical experience. When one man's father or son or any relative dies, he cries, Oh, my son has gone away. My father has gone away. That your father is lying there on the bed. How do you say that my father has gone away? That means the actual father he has never seen. He has seen the body only. And on this bodily conception of life, everything is being manipulated. This is called illusion. Therefore, in the Vedic literature it is stated, jasyāta buddhi kunapeti dhātuke sadhik kalatra desu bhoma yujyadhi jatīrtha buddhi salilena karhichit janesu abhigyesu saiva gopana. 
a person who is in the bodily concept of life and thinking is bodily designation as everything, nationalism or bhoma ijyadhi, bhoma on the land, ijyadhi, the whole world is going on, worshipping the land in which he is born. But he does not know that he took birth in many lands, not only in this land, in other planet also. But he does not know which land is his own land. This is called illusion. Jashyāta buddhi kuna pītida sadhik kalatra dhisu So the world is going on under misconception of self that I am this body. In the Bhagavad Gita you'll find the first instruction given by Krishna. Dehi nasmi jatha dehi kaumaram javvalaṁ jara tatha dehāndra prāpti dhīrasthatvanamai. Asmin dehi in this body, there is the proprietor of the body, dehi, who possesses this body, but there is no information. Nobody knows. There is no education on this point. What is that proprietor of this body? They are simply going on, like cats and dogs. Cats and if you try to instruct a cat or dog, my dear dog, you are not this body. He will not understand. He is so grossly in ignorance, it is very difficult for him to understand that he is not this body. But human being, although at the present moment they are grossly ignorant for want of spiritual education, still because he is human being, he can be educated, he can be revived to his original consciousness, which is called Krishna consciousness. So we are trying our bit almost single-handed Although the important literatures are there, Vedic literatures, four Vedas, Vedanta Sutra, eighteen Puranas, hundred and eight Upanishads, then Ramayana, Mahabharata, so many full of knowledge, transcendental knowledge. They can be distributed all over the world, but there was no organized attempt. We are just began from 1966, uh, this movement, Hare Krishna movement, or Krishna consciousness movement, distributing this literature. Through literature, of course, we are very um, hopeful. Our literatures are selling. In London also, they sell at least two hundred dollars a pound in the street. Similarly, in New York, in Los Angeles, every city we are selling about thirty to forty thousand rupees worth books daily, and people are appreciating. But if the publishers and the booksellers also help us in this movement, then people will be very much benefited. That is our request. We have come to this booksellers office to request. Of course, we have no means to advertise very much, but our advertisement is a Sankirtan movement. We go from city to city, street to street, to invoke, invoke the spiritual consciousness of man. There is already there. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita it is said, Nitya Siddha Krishna Bhakti Sadha Kavu Noy Sabanadi Shuddha Chitte Karoe Udoy. It is simply awake. This spiritual consciousness, Krishna consciousness, is already there in everybody. Otherwise, how this European, American, other foreign country boys and girls they are taking? It is already there. Simply it has to be awakened by this transcendental vibration. The transcendental vibration. Just like we are chanting, this is one vibration. And these books are bigger vibration. This is, this when we chant Hare Krishna mantra, 
a few words, people can hear, here is Hare Krishna. But my Guru Maharaj used to say that this is Brihat Mridanga. Mridanga, that drum you have seen. That is small Mridanga. If I beat on this drum, maybe a few words uh, people can hear from few words. But this is, the books are distributed. It can go from country to country, from continent to continent. Actually, it is so happening. So our only appeal is that all booksellers, all publishers may come forward and cooperate with us and distribute the transcendental literature. It is unique thought. They will find something sublime and will be benefited. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.